Chris Olds, back in media here, back in the office, back almost with a normal voice, <clears throat> at least for the moment. 8 o'clock something here, p.m. on a Friday, getting some busy work done, mailing out some prizes. And uh, I figured, speaking of the mail, I'd do a mail day video of my own. Got a little box of something something from Check Out My Cards. Invoice. The... Uh, one of my favorite destinations for purchasing cards. They, uh, if you order or you have in your account more than 25 cards for the remainder of March, they're actually doing free shipping. So I figured it was time to send some cards from my account this way. See what I picked off. Now, they make it pretty convenient to buy stuff. I uh, have been known for sitting on the couch at one in the morning watching movies and clicking on the phone and buying cards. And uh, this is a relatively small order of about 50 cards. Had them arrive today. I'll start off with some of the predictable stuff, but it's easy to buy, which sometimes if you're just browsing around and find something and the price is right, sometimes you say to yourself, why did I buy that after you're done? But no remorse here, but I am going to give you a rundown of why I bought some of the stuff I bought, just because I know you kind of like watching it every once in a while. So I'll start off with the really predictable stuff. How about two Gypsy Queen Nick Swisher minis? Followed up by, hold on, I gotta, I gotta make sure I get this stuff in the right stack. After I show them, they go in the box. Followed up by, those were black minis, two Gypsy Queen Straight Cut minis Nick Swisher. Maybe there should be a Swisher count in the contest for this thing. Maybe I'll give something away in the comments. Maybe the tenth person to get it right. Who knows? How about three Ginter Swisher minis? If you haven't, you know, seen this pattern before, it's not that uh, unpredictable. How about another Swisher mini from Ginter? And uh, those are all the minis. Let's just put it that way. Sometimes you just pick them off if the price is right. I'm not afraid of duplicates either, as this should show you. Four 2012 Tops Golds, serial number to 2012. Certain price dip. If it dips to a certain price, I'm probably going to buy it. How about a purple refractor from Bowman? Swisher. Let me see here. How about a Topps Chrome Sepia Refractor Swisher? Are we seeing a pattern here? I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and sort these at before I show you. Let me get it out of the system here. And it may not even be all of them, but how about framed relics Swisher? Oh yeah, that's a that's what I'm a sucker for uh, Ginter Mini framed relics and autos. When they're cheap, they're mine. I don't care if I have a dozen of them already. Top standard relic, 20, 2007. How about a little opening day blue parallel action? Next Swisher. Don't worry, it's not going to be a totally Swisher video. How about a uh, SPX game used? How about a trilogy game used? How about a red origins parallel? Or just your old-fashioned, what is this thing, classic clippings, rookie card. Let me get these stacked properly here. Can't have any damaged swishers. That's not a good thing. Next up in the stack, that's all the swishers for now. How about, how about a little Randall Cunningham 1990, what is this, 1993 Action Pact. Yeah. That's not the last we'll see you hit him. Here's a fun card. I bought it because the number of relic pieces or mem pieces on it is pretty interesting. It's got a piece of jersey, a piece of fielding glove, a piece of bat, a piece of chest protector, and a piece of shin guard. Must be a catcher. It's not a big deal because it wasn't expensive, but I, it was weird enough, and I wanted... I now own a chest protector slash shin guard card. Boom. John Buck. Hmm. It's like five bucks for five swatches. 
I can now say that I have some catcher gear game use cards in my collection. A uh, player who was at Alabama who I interviewed back in the day, Rod Grizzard, drafted by the Washington Wizards. And that's the end of that story. How about the guy who was the can't-miss prospect back in the day, certified autograph of Todd Van Poppel. Uh, yeah, I bought it. I also bought this just for posterity because I couldn't find the one in my stash. Future aces. <sighs> Let's just say those guys didn't work out. How about an Ozzy Canseco Boys of Summer insert? Oh, yeah. I didn't have it. It was cheap. Trust me. Speaking of a cheap autograph, I think this cost me about 84 cents. Another former Oakland Athletic. Ben Grieve. Certified autograph. Classic minor league. Huntsville Stars. Speaking of minor league, as I scratch a scratchy eye, itchy eye, how about a 1987 Pro Cards Larry Walker? I just... That's card screams Canadian, even though he's playing for the Jacksonville, Florida Expos. Canadian, eh? A boot. This is what collecting is all about. Larry Walker. Little uh, memorabilia action. <coughs> <coughs> Cole's not gone yet. How about a uh, mem card? We had recently had the memorabilia or hits issue of BSCM. What a Steve Wozniak computer disc card. That right there is a piece of a floppy disk from a computer le industry legend. It was weird. I wanted it. Speaking of weird, I'm a weird, I'm a weird one about the movie Major League. This guy might be worse, not my much. But he's an actual major leaguer who's in the major league, so maybe that is worse. Jensen Lewis, pitcher for the Cleveland Indians. This is a certified autograph of his. His uh, superstition in high school was to watch Major League before every start. Got into the show, even on the Indians. I haven't kept up with where he's at now, but I now have his autograph. Another autograph from the back in the day. Joe Vitiello, Kansas City Royals, who played at the University of Alabama. Here's a fun autograph. Only 10 copies exist. My only autograph from the set might be the only one I tracked down in the bunch. A very nicely centered $5 autograph, numbered, serial numbered out of 10. Ivan, the Russian nightmare, Nikita Koloff. Oh, yeah. Another eccentric, yet interesting, yet weird, yet, oh, I don't know, kind of autograph from Obak. Let's see, 2010 OBAC baseball included some innovators of the game, some unusual trivia. This is a game changer of sorts right here. Robert C. Nelson, who you probably never have heard of, pitched in the minor leagues in the 70s. He was the inventor, along with uh, Jim Palmer, of Big League Chew baseball gum. Now you'll probably want that autograph, don't you? All right, that's it for the, the cards in penny sleeves. I opted for a few cards to be delivered in the top loaders for an extra fee. This card was so cheap, yet I saw it and said, oh, what the heck. She's a champion. She's a Goodwin champion. She's a competitive eater. I'm sure we can all identify with eating and or the heartburn that comes with it, maybe if you eat too much like she does. Sonia Thomas, certified autograph. I think it was the belt that made me want the card. Who, what, who doesn't want a Pepto-Bismol colored belt for eating, right? Let me get this out of the system. Nick Swisher. That's the final Nick Swisher. Get your uh, tally in. Let me know how many there are. And the tenth one, tenth person will win something. But. <coughs> Let me know. How many are there? Picked up a, another version of Randall Cunningham's 1993 action-packed card. This one has, however, gold. It's a 24-karat gold leaf card. So his name is in gold, and the action-packed logo at the bottom is in gold. Gold. 
gold. Let's see, how about a Topps GM autograph? I know people didn't like the idea when they came out. I personally did like the idea of these when they came out. Ned Coletti, Dodgers GM, certified autograph. Even though it's a sticker, it's his only autograph out there. I figured what the heck, price was right. Four cards left. Go with the most predictable first. Jose Canseco, 86 tops. Tiffany, not an easy card to find. Slightly off-centered. Wasn't very expensive. That's why I bought it. It was five, six bucks, somewhere in there. Next card, Hall of Famer autograph from a set I don't have much of at all. 2000, uh, 1999, Fleer, <clears throat> Sports Illustrated, presented by Fleer. Greats of the game. Dick Williams, Hall of Fame manager for the Oakland Athletics. Won three World Series. He's no longer with us for several years now. Boom. Maybe 12 bucks. And my next card, my first ever card from this set. It's a little mangled. I don't really care. I didn't really buy it for the condition. But I don't have any of these. This is a uh, Topps Magic card from back in the day. I don't remember the exact year. 51, 52. I could be wrong. I'm not the football dude. Bobby Marlowe, University of Alabama, Crimson Tide. Rookie card, I think. Could be wrong. Let me know. Tell me if I'm wrong. Wouldn't be the first time. Now my final card. A non-sport card from a Rittenhouse sci-fi hobby uh, brand. And I've never seen a single minute of the television show ever. So I bought this because it has other ties. Yeehaw, Jester's dead, at least off my want list. Michael Ironside, autograph. Top Gun, one of the stars of the movie. I now have Jester. I now have Iceman. I don't have a Maverick. Maverick. I don't have a Goose. But I'm working on it, slowly but surely. I'm going to get the boys back together. So that was a mail day from CheckOutMyCards.com. Uh, that's what I bought. If you have a mail day video of your own, pop it down here in the links. Maybe we can see what you've got going too. So until next time, Chris Olds, Beckett Media. Just keep ripping.